Hello everyone, this is Ludo Farage, founder and CEO of NewCamp. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to NewCamp's community server, which is hosted by Discord. I'm going to walk you through how to create an account on Discord, assuming you don't already have one, and how to connect that account to your student or instructor account on NewCamp. So we're going to go to discord.com slash login. And assuming you do not yet have an account, we're going to hit the register link here. Email, username and password, pick what you want. What may happen is you're going to be asked to verify your account either via a phone number, sometimes an email. Uh, in this case, we were asked to provide a phone number. If you are asked to provide, uh, to verify via email, double check your inbox for this type of email here and click the link to verify the account. Once you verified the account, you are in Discord, but you have yet to join the new camp server. So what you need to do is add a server, then at the bottom, join a server, and right there, type in new camp. All right, we're in the new camp server, but we only have access to a very small portion of it, those three channels. We need to do a few more things. Uh, we need to complete those, st those steps that's highlighted here. That includes reading the rules. Part of those rules are the code of conduct for new camp. I encourage you to read it. Check the box. And then you're seeing that link here. That link will take us to newcamp.co to connect the Discord account that we just created with the student or instructor account that you have. So we're going to follow that link. We're going to be asked to authorize NewCamp to connect your account. Let's click Authorize. And here we are on newcamp.co. We are on NewCamp web server where you registered in the first place. You really want to make sure that you're logged here using your student or instructor account. It's going to be one of those six login providers. If you're unsure which one, go back to the email you received when you registered. That's going to include the login provider and the email you used for registering. So that information should be there if you don't remember it. But once you know, click it. And you're going to see something like that. Connect your new camp and Discord accounts as new camp students, or you may say instructor. And once you click that link, ta-da, voila, check out now your Discord server as all the groups that you will be using. Uh, we'll take a tour of those groups. What you're seeing now is actually my personal account. Uh, I've switched over to the app on uh, the desktop app for Discord. That's my account. I have access to a lot of things that you're not going to see, but I just wanted to share that with you. Those groups here, the courses group, are going to be the ones where you're going to be able to interact and ask questions with to all students and all instructors uh, involved in those courses. What I'm highlighting here, Eastern classes, uh, Bootstrap, these are the classroom groups that you're going to be part of when you start your bootcamp. And that's going to be one per class. So here you'll find your dedicated instructor. You'll be finding also your the 15 other students that are learning with you. Uh, typically, you will be grouped with other students from your city or your region. Um, what you're seeing now is the getting a job set of groups, super important as you're going to get closer to the end of your bootcamp. Special groups, including the alumni, if you're an instructor, you're going to see all those groups for you to interact with other instructors, the staff groups, and then full-time employees, you're going to see all those company-related groups. But again, the most important groups for you are going to be those general ones at the top, the courses groups where you're going to be able to interact with every student, every instructor, and then super important, those classes groups where you're going to be with your instructor, and other fellow classmates that are from your city or your region. That's very much the environment for collaboration, for conversation, to ask your questions, get answers. You're going to ask questions to your classmates, to your instructor, 
to the broader community of students that are going through the course. What's missing at this time and what you'll have access to the first day of your bootcamp is the learning management system of NewCamp. That's where the course material, the curriculum is hosted. That's learn.newcamp.co. And that's very much where all the activities to learn and acquire the knowledge are gonna be. You're gonna have the lessons, the lecture, the videos, the assignments, the workshops. That's where instructors are gonna grade your, uh, your workshop assignment. That's where you'll have information about your live workshops that are gonna be scheduled on Saturdays or another day. This is very much where you're gonna live as a student to learn the material Again, you'll only get access to it when you start the bootcamp, not before. Before starting the bootcamp, you'll have access to the Discord server that we just saw, where you're going to be able to start engaging and interacting with the community. That was pretty much it. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the bootcamp. I hope you were able to connect to Discord pretty easily. If you have any issue doing that, just shoot us an email at studentadmin dot newcam.co again it's student admin at newcam.co attach screenshots so that we can help you troubleshoot and again looking forward to seeing you there take care